So tip number one is to use a power grip. So if you, if you look here, my thumb is actually hooked on top. My index finger is pushing up on the, the neck of the guitar. That's going to be a good pressure point for us to push up and to pivot as we swing and push that bend up. Uh, and then my ring finger in this case is going to be pushing up. Okay. Make sure your fingers are angled. Uh, what you don't want to do is this. If your thumb is on top, it's going to be very difficult to go to, to be straight like this. But I see this all the time. Uh, when somebody first starts learning how to bend, this is their first approach usually is, is to try it like this in a classical hand position. You don't want to do that. Uh, you don't have a lot of control that way. You want to do it the same, same way Hendrix and SRV did it, which is hooking on top. So tip number two is to use lead and helper fingers. So my lead finger is my, my ring finger here. It's actually fretting the note that we're gonna be bending. The middle finger we're gonna bring in as a helper finger. It's just there in support of the lead finger. It's gonna be helping push the string up. We can also bring in the index finger for additional support. Uh, although it doesn't really bring uh, a lot more support, I like to use the index finger as, um, as, as control. So, I mean, if we have to mute another string while we bend or if we're doing a rake, uh, it's good for those things. And if we're not doing that, uh, I'll add it in there and uh, give that extra support. Make sure that you don't bend. Uh, this is something else I see with, with, uh, with beginners, is when they first start bending, they'll bend with one finger. Do not do that. Uh, if you're doing that now, try and break the habit and add in the helper fingers and take it slow and build a new habit. You'll have a lot more control. Tip number three is to actually practice your pitch. Uh, it's very important because you could actually easily overbend and underbend, um, and you might not even realize that you're doing it. So get in the habit of practicing your pitch. Here's how we do it. So we're gonna complete a full bend here, and we're gonna use all of the techniques that we learned already from tip number one and two. Uh, a full bend is gonna sound like this. So we're, we're gonna bend here this, this D note. We're gonna make it sound like an E note. So we hit the E note here. And what I'm doing is I'm just going up two frets higher than the string I'm bending. That is what is measured as a full step bend. So you're going to hit the, the, the desired pitch note, which is E, and then you're going to go back to the fret and you're going to complete the bend. Do that back and forth. And just keep adjusting. If you're too high, I mean, uh, bend it a bit lower. If you're too low, bend it a bit higher. Do the same thing with a half step bend. Do it on all strings, especially the, the B string and the high E string. The high E string is a very, very difficult string to bend. It's a very high tension uh, string. So I would say it's most important on the high E string to practice your, your pitch. On the high E string, you really have to bring a, uh, every one of those techniques in to get the, the correct pitch, as it's a very tough string to bend. 